About a year ago, I participated in a seminar with other young, ambitious, aspiring Jewish educators. Participants were asked to isolate their three main goals in Jewish education. Without fail, every presenter included a goal along the lines of students will have an appreciation for learning Torah, or students will have a heightened awareness of the relevance of Torah, or students will feel connected to the material learned and seek to implement it into their lives. Obviously, this challenge was burning the minds of aspiring Jewish educators. And a class discussion ensued where we debated strategies to successfully transmit a love of Torah, an appreciation for its divine nature, a desire to implement its values, and essentially how to promote spirituality and character refinement among students. After a number of participants expressed their ideas, including programs, campaigns, and other interventions, the teacher finally said, let the Torah speak for itself. Its voice is louder than any other intervention. I could not fully appreciate the gravity of this statement upon hearing it, but the truth it encoded became clear to me as the discussion unfolded. One girl shared the following. She remembered that in high school, she had a Rebbe who would stop class five minutes prior to the end of class and he would teach a lesson from the Chafetz Chaim, a lesson a day series on Shmiras HaLashon. His way of promoting spirituality was to stop the regular instruction and teach a lesson on Shmiras HaLashon with his students. This struck me as so bizarre. While I'm sure this Rebbe had the best of intentions in mind, I couldn't help but be concerned for the message he was sending to these poor students. By ending class with a lesson that was totally disconnected to the regular course of Torah instruction, the underlying message he was implying is that the first 35 minutes of Torah study was not as important, as relevant, or as meaningful as the wrap-up lesson on Shemir HaTalashon. The takeaway from class had nothing to do with the first 35 minutes of Torah content. If we keep Torah study and practical or inspirational study in separate spheres, then the underlying message we send is that the Torah does not encode as clear or pragmatic a blueprint for character refinement, or as distinct a power to engender spirituality in a practical way as other interventions. The message we need to actively transmit is that the piece of Chumash, of Navi, of Halacha, of Gemara that we are studying in class today, that is your takeaway message for today. Our lessons need to demonstrate that the day in and day out of learning is the ultimate source of growth and self-refinement. If we diverge from our regular course content to insert an inspiring lesson on Benadim Lechavero, then the loudest message we are communicating is that the regular content studied in this class is not as relevant a source from which to learn these same lessons. Aspiring teachers often grapple with this exact issue of really making a difference and inspiring the next generation to feel when they learn Limude Kodesh. And they take, it, they take advantage of out-of-class opportunities. They maximize on inviting students for Shabbos and schmoozing during lunch and utilizing um, informal settings to relate to students. And while these are all commendable gestures and they undoubtedly impact the lives of our students, the words of my professor echo in my ears with a seasoned brilliance. We need to let the Torah speak louder than any other intervention. The most optimal place to promote spirituality and values is the classroom itself, with our regular content serving as, serving as a springboard for that inspiration. Our lessons themselves must prove to be sources of inspiration, of passion, and of motivation to change. How can we tackle this overwhelming goal in the classroom? We must search for opportunities within the fabric of our curriculum to extract meaningful lessons, to highlight the relatability of our content. We must peel back the layer so that our lessons demonstrate that the Torah is the most relatable, personal, timeless, and practical book ever constructed. We must fuse our inspirational goals with our pedagogical ambitions because the means to achieve both lie in the wisdom of the Torah. Through marrying inspiration and instruction, we can let the Torah advocate for itself and send the invaluable message that the Torah is the all-encompassing source, 
to influence both the mind and the heart simultaneously.